Good morning, colleagues. Welcome this morning. Um, we are starting. My name is Sidiko Rakolote, the founder and the trustee of the Progressive Socioeconomic Investment Institute. Our institute focuses on education, health, and socioeconomic development. Amongst other programs that we are running within education are webinars. And we focus on various topics and invite various speakers to come and present and we engage on those topics. South Africa is faced with a high level of gender-based violence and femicides. The Honorable President, His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa declared this as a national disaster. The Minister of Police, Honorable Peggy Kale, also indicated that in the last three months, around 8,000 people were raped. This is a national disaster. The fight against gender-based violence and femicide is the fight that must be launched by all members of society. It is the responsibility of the, all members of society to participate in the fight against gender-based violence and femicide. In a country like ours, The responsibility lies with everybody. Everybody who is a member of society has to participate in the fight against gender-based violence. There is a role that can be played, that should be played by the traditional leaders. There is a role that has to be played by religious leaders. There is a role that has to be played by political organizations. There is a role that can be played by business sectors, there's a role to be played by everybody if we want to win the war against gender-based violence. Today, colleagues, we are fortunate and so humbled to have a speaker who's a deputy chairperson of the National House of Traditional Leaders in South Africa, Unkosikasi Nosan Dimtaun. Without a waste of time, I'll give it over to her to make a presentation. From there, we can start engaging. We are live also on Facebook. We'll be taking questions from Facebook site, and also we'll be taking comments from those who are participating in this session. Please feel free, relax, take your notes, and we'll be having time to make comments after the, the, the speaker. Over to you, Gosigasi Nosandim Klaou. Thank, thank you, uh, facilitator. Uh, greetings to all kings and queens, uh, members of the Houses of Traditional Leaders, organization Ikondralesa for, for Ubukosi, our parliament, as I'm aware that this, this has been also arranged by our, our uh, committee Cocta committee and other participants. And I'm aware that there are also NGOs who are also interested to hear from us as Amakosi on the issue which has been put uh, here in front of us. And all uh, South Africans and other people who have joined us as we are also part of other organiz organizations. And we may have other participants from other countries. Uh, good morning. Unfortunately, from uh, Abandu Basema Kaya, will be will try and mix the languages because we 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 know that you are interested to hear us talking to you, using your 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 languages. We'll try and mix the languages so that you'll be able to participate as South Africans. Is also part of us. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I don't take uh, this uh, opportunity as just part of 
just raising questions. I take it as part of building South Africa. As we have noticed that we have got issues of moral decay. So working together, we'll be able to address those issues. With, without wasting time, I'll just go to, through my presentation chair. I've already, already uh, uh, greeted you, all of you. The purpose of being here is to present on the role of women in traditional leadership in fight against gender-based violence and femicide. My, my presentation will not be based only uh, on the role of women traditional leaders. As, as traditional leaders, we don't have that practice of working alone women on the other side and a maid on the other side. We are working as a family. As I'll be talking, I'll be talking on the programs that we are, 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 are doing with, together with uh, male uh, traditional leaders and other institutions. The institution of traditional leaders is a, 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 its status and role according to a customary law. Subject to the constitution is recognized in terms of section 211 and 212 of the constitution of South Africa. Act 108 of 1996. Traditional leadership and governance framework act also, Act 41 of 2003 as amended, Act 23 of 2009, provides for the recognition of four levels of traditional leadership and the establishment of structures. Okay. Uh, chair, uh, facilitate, assist me. Uh, someone is answering the phone. Uh, traditional leaders and, and, and their functions. The role of uh, houses of traditional leaders. Houses of traditional leaders are a statutory body established in terms of to a uh, 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 constitution of the uh, Republic of South Africa, National House of Traditional Leaders Act, nas uh, national level and provincial legislation of provincial levels and local levels. The law provides for the powers and duties of houses. The core mandate of the houses, among others, is to advise government on matters affecting traditional communities. Customary law, by making inputs to bills and refer to them, refer them to uh, legislatures. They may also provide advice to government on any other matter referred to uh, traditional leaders. Women in structures of traditional leadership. Legislation that provides for establishment of traditional leadership structures further provides that women should constitute at least one third of membership at all levels. That is all traditional councils, as some we may call them traditional authorities or your tribal authorities. All local houses of traditional leaders, which are at a district level, all provincial houses at provincial levels, and national house of traditional leaders at national. The one third representation of women in governance and structures of traditional leadership has been achieved across the country. These structures operate through committees, and each has one committee that is responsible for gender issues and other marginalized group in our society. Outside government structures, there are organizations of women, traditional leaders, such as queens, princesses, and amakoskas, who look at issues affecting women, traditional leaders, wives of, of traditional leaders, ordinary women, children, people with disabilities, child-headed families and poverty-striking households in traditional communities. Coming to the challenge of gender-based violence, since the beginning of the year 2020, our society saw a, a, a rise in the rate of gender-based violence and femicide cases. After the pronouncement of lockdown, which was aimed at combating the spread of COVID-19 pandemic, 
gender-based violence and femicide are social challenges that threaten the safety of our people, especially the vulnerable members of our communities were magnified by the conditions of lockdown among family members and people who are in a lack of relationships. Women, youth, uh, uh, children, and adult people, and people with disabilities are on the receiving end of these brutal attacks, which are still raising havoc in the so our society even today. The media has undated day after day with reports of such a brutality. Our role during this month of during the month of August, as known as Women's Month, webinars were hosted to focus on the fight against gender-based violence and femicide cases, which became the second, second pandemic here in South Africa, taking the lives of many women and girls of ages from infants to elderly women. Women traditional leaders were invited and participated in dialogue on gender, based, uh, 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 gender equality organized by Ministry of Women, Youth and People with Disabilities under the theme, Generation Equality, breaking the shackles of traditions for women economic freedom held on the 9th of September, 2020 on Zoom. Women traditional leaders are made, made a women traditional leaders made submission to the ministry in a clear voice. September is known as Heritage Month on which our nation celebrates the core values of our society, which serves as the moral compass for the culture, traditions and, and heritage of our people. The institution of traditional leadership has a duty and a responsibility to preserve and promote such values, which are demonstrated in our culture, tradition, and cultures. In the year of 2020, focus shifted from merely celebrating cultures and heritage, but zoomed into gender issues within culture, traditions, and heritage. As a nation united in diversity, we all hold our heritage and the values of Ubuntu as a unity, as a unifying factor on our moral campus. We also do not overlook the role played by the primary drivers in the preservation and promotion of these traditional institutions is recognized as also or, or custodians of culture, tradition and customs. The institution recognizes women as primary drivers for the preservation and protection and promotion of culture, tradition and customs from childbearing, household uh, management, entrepreneurship and leadership in our families and society respectively since time immemorial to date. But on this one, uh, uh, the facilitator, we'll have to talk more about it because sometimes as being a uh, recognized as those who are, are very uh, uh, good in, in preserving culture and customs, we may be putting ourselves uh, under pressure, trying to, to, to achieve that by also putting us as, 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 as e, 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 the, the, more, the most custodians as women. Now, I'm a daughter, I will just ask that at the Then we try to prove that we don't fail by oppressing other women, but we have to talk on those issues. Women traditional leaders acknowledge the significance of role they need to play to return the tide against COVID-19, gender-based violence and femicide through their organization, namely in Bumbayama Koskas here in, here in Eastern Cape, Umkoko Zaka Zulu, a case at N, Queen's Forum, a free state, and also in, uh, in Pumalanga, Bahuma Hadi. And also, we have got a, a other orga a women organization in all provinces. And we have been working tirelessly during this the fight against uh, COVID 19, gender based violence, and femicide. During the month of September, the National House of Traditional Leaders joined the rest of the country in celebrating Heritage Month by 
convening a webinar under the theme celebrating South Africa's human living treasurers as crafted by Department of Sports and uh, Sports Arts and Culture. The department mandated lead on matters of heritage in the country. The webinar also formed part of the build up activities of this draft in contributing to the heritage march celebrating while also implementing national house mandate outlined in law. The Tradition Heritage and Culture Committee of the National House of Traditional Leaders in collaboration with the Gender Committee of the National House of Traditional Leaders led the webinar and were joined by other uh, organizations and partners. The National House of Traditional Leaders webinar acknowledged the challenges which are our society life lives in and as it is uh, characterized by gender-based violence, femicide and other forms of abuse. The following were uh, the challenges identified and there were resolutions taken. Review of, uh, of solid culture and practices. Among a number of issues discussed, one of the resolutions taken was to review our cultural practices. There is a need to re reconsider cultural practices and custom that are viewed as absolute and infringe a, on human rights. The intention is to align them with the provisions of the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. Cultural practices specifically mentioned in, included ukutwala, kusubedisa, ukungena, shlatwa, dirope, death and mourning period, and attire, which differs drastically between men and women. And this one was also a resolution coming from INBISO, which was held by uh, religious sectors and traditional leaders, where we were uh, tasked by UNICEF that we needed to identify the, 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 the cultural practices that are harmful to women and children both the religious sector and also the traditional leadership sector. And we went back to, the, to, to our institution to identify these uh, uh, cultural practices. On the issue of land ownership by women, there is, a, uh, there is currently a challenge of land ownership by women in areas of traditional leadership. Through this, through this this is not happening in all communities. In fact, though this is not come, uh, happening in all, uh, this community, all communities, women are prohibited to inherit or own land in their own practice uh, capacities. These are the reports which are coming from different areas. It's not in all uh, traditional uh, 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 areas, but also there's also an issue that as traditional leaders, as fortunate as a woman here, here in Emashubin, as much as I wish to have more land for women, but I don't have land. As, as we're also looking at the government to give more land back to, come to traditional leaders so that they'd be able to address that. But we don't have a, a picture of the area where we are going to put women separately. But we're just looking for more land so that we address those challenges that are faced by, by, by communities, the entire communities, also the issue of women to access land. The role of family uh, in, com in community in socialization of males and females now. Socialization of children plays a, in a, a critical role in their adult lives and how they relate to each in society. The way children are brought up should be should not uh, should be in such a manner that they respect each other irrespective of their gender. The issue of boys don't cry is something of the past, which is perpetuating gender discrimination and must be discouraged. I would, I'm out there talking that they are handling this one as we are working together with other uh, 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 men's organizations. They are addressing this one of saying Indo Daikali. They are addressing it. 
there should be an engagement with different sectors of society to discuss this matter. And this should focus on institutions such as family, the community religious sector, traditional leadership, and schools to educate society. Customary initiation should be also used as a school to teach the young boys on e equality, respect, and tolerance. As we know that uh, during initiation period, we are given chance. We are expecting you into as 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 your sisters and and also your mothers. You must protect us as men. Now you are no more boys. You are expected expected to protect us and also uh, show that now you are grown up. That is one why we the initiation uh, uh, practice is, is is important and not talking about circumcision. We are talking about initiation, which is also taking place also for both uh, boys and girls. On issues of succession and leadership within the institution of traditional leadership, we must bear in mind that when we are talking about a, a traditional leadership, uh, it is a, a, it is hereditary. You are, we are not elected to, to be a traditional leader. Now, that is different now from uh, uh, members of parliament or councillors where you are elected, where it is easy to say 50% in GAPA, 50% in GAPA, because you may not, for us, for instance, here in Petty, we have got a 10 traditional, uh, uh, traditional councils. Just 10 traditional councils. We have got only one who is a, a female a, 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 on her own right, that is one Sutu, that is a girl, except me, who is a regent. But now, when looking around, even if the uh, Amakos uh, in Pedi would like to have that percentage of 50%, when looking around, they are the only one. And they are, they are the, 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 they may, you may find that they are rightful pay people to be there, uh, regardless of some, maybe some may, there may be uh, some issues of, of claims and what. But truly speaking, we are not elected, but we are trying by all means to, 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 to keep this, uh, to get it, uh, this 50%, uh, 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 but we may not be able to achieve it. Uh, coming to, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Systems should be created to ensure that personality is non-sexist and royal families and communities need to be empowered on the role of women in traditional leadership positions. In South Africa, women within institutions of traditional leadership also fought for liberation, but they are not recognized. The department and the National House of Traditional Leaders should consider documenting accounts of women international leaders who fought for liberation of this country and are still fighting for equality within institutions of international leadership. Our committees are dealing with that in, in different provinces. We have raised the issue as it was part of, of also the, the resolutions coming from the webinar. Representation of female international leaders in structures, I've already talked about this one. Re, re, uh, redefining gender relations within the institution of, uh, of marriage. The best practice, perseverance in marriage, is also always directed to females, but not to males. This practice contributes to the current abuse of women as the women is, uh, is gathered with the, this stereotype into the marriage, which brainwashes them into believing that if marriage falls apart, it's because of the women who, who could not persevere. The man is never told to beg a zela. Yet a marriage is, 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 is a partnership or a, a, a communion be, between the two persons, uh, persons. Such must be communicated and discussed by the communities 
and Amakos. That was a resolution from the webinar. Institutionalization of positive messages around gender. The, 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 the slogan, the some of the slogans which are used sometimes, they, they just confuse women. Women's lives matter. As a slogan, they are also, uh, 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 may, they may assist us. This will go a mile ensuring that women abuse and femicide is defeated in our society. When you are saying women's lives matter, creating an enabling of environment for women economic emancipation, you talked about issues of economy. We are the mostly affected economic hardship. Most men are in urban areas while women are left to fend for children. It is important not only to emancipate women from discrimination against, but also economic perspective. Government and, and institution must develop programs and pursue existing programs and partnerships to support economic development initiative, mostly in transnational communities, especially for women and children, uh, 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 women and, and youth in rural areas, at a, uh, especially when we're talking about the district model, the development model. Building tolerance for people with different uh, sexual orientation. When coming to this one, uh, we are coming now, we're talking about uh, the, 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 the the LGBTQI, I'm always saying a, a, a facilitator, from a, the perspective of transnational leadership, when we're here in rural areas, we don't discriminate anyone. We just stay here as a family. We don't have meetings that we say these ones are for this, except that they are going to talk about the issues of uh, or issues of uh, uh, but as a family, we can't say so it, it discrimination of, of LGBTQI, uh, 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 it may be uh, uh, due to ignorance, but we don't have Tina Abonagal about the city of Akomba, Aba city Abangaba. We just take them as families. But also coming back to also do that one, we need more discussions as Amakos because, in fact, whoever is, is able to understand this, you started to learn about it. You were capacitated to, to know about it and come back to expect. You must come back to also. But Uvele in Doba now, this one, the, the inner part of, of him, he had changed by Ndombazan. Come back, Mabeza, Bandaba Kwasi, who's a fool of fullness and guesses in the best of Banduin. Uba, I had changed him to a one being quite class, a good bench, a good bench, a program direct. I come to my to closing. We have done a lot of, 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 uh, of work with Ahmad Doda as the house of traditional leaders uh, in also in provinces, also in Bukosi at large. Through Dagwani Reime on immense sector. In 2018, we we're part of the men's parliament. When the men's parliament was launched in 2018, and when the Ahmad Doda decided that they are going to back go back to the provinces to clarify, to identify and say what is meant by a man. And they went, we are, we are part of them when they were going around provinces and, and districts, trying to hold those uh, men's parliament. We are part of them. They also held a boys assembles who are quite interesting because I'm also interested on that one. Because we're talking about 
Aba se de besbula la bona. Ufuna si lung si mondo sa baba ny kuba ngo kubona bazo chonga aba basbula la batun bana elen tuba umdwa pile ubom obu no funa besis kebeng. So si fun sa babando and abandona they are talking to us as parents now, not only as ama uteta na mato ta no tata boto. They are talking us as parents. And I'm also encouraging these uh, 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 meetings that include both oh mama, no data, no lucha, everybody na bandwana, so that you can be able to pick up those issues. We were part of also the other program which has been launched by the Department of Social De Development and UDM uh, Zulu. And I applaud that, that woman. Because she is always around on the issues of transnational leadership to be, capacitate them to deal with these issues. We have launched it to, it to me, that is that's focusing for the young ones, where they, they'll be uh, discussing their issues, assisted by, by us as Abo Mamba Gumkul. Even in Bombay, Makoska's uncle and other women organizations, we have got those structures that will be assisting, that are, are trying to, to address these issues. Now, uh, Chair, I think now we need to come, we need to come uh, together, not working in silos. Now, in closing, uh, Chair, uh, uh, program director, the, 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 the National House of Traditional Leaders is planning to hold another webinar within the program of 15 days of activism. That will, uh, among the issues to, to be discussed, the role of traditional leaders in fight, fighting domestic violence. The role of uh, NPA in empowering rural communities, I've, I've already talked about it. The effect of domestic violence to the communities, which results in two gender-based violence. How can the institution of traditional leadership form a partnership with, uh, 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 to fight GPV and domestic violence and human trafficking, teenage pregnancy? Uh, uh, as, uh, we, as we will be uh, uh, discussing here, I'll, uh, I will, uh, uh, I will uh, uh, really appreciate that. Everybody who will be talking here can be able to assist us, also to advise us as partner leaders, as partners. And we are coming here to be a partner with whoever who is here on whoever who would like to partner with traditional leaders. Organization of Women in traditional Leaders invite partners to work tirelessly with gender uh, committees and other relevant stakeholders to turn the tide against gender-based violence and femicide. The Kibezel Ngoguti, to twin Kumakaya, condolences to those families who have lost their family members through COVID-19 and also gender-based violence, as we have heard Ngoguti, so we are saying condolences to those families. Thank you very much, a, 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 a facilitator, and, and, and we're looking forward to work with you. Thank you very much. Um, thank, you, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very informative. And we now know the work that you're doing as the House of Traditional Leaders. You are saying, we are here, you are here looking for ideas, comments, and partnerships from all of us so that we can fight gender-based violence and femicide. Indeed, the best condolences uh, to those who lost their lives due to gender-based violence and femicide, and also to those who lost their lives uh, due to COVID. And our sincere uh, also sympathies, and, and we wish those who are victims speedy recoveries. Like you said, gender-based violence and femicide is a societal problem. It is our responsibility as a society to find solutions on gender-based violence. Colleagues, that was the presentation from our leader, Ngozigasi Nklauli, the deputy chairperson of the National House of Traditional Leaders.
I will allow colleagues who are part of this uh, webinar to raise up their hands and make comments, inputs, and ask questions. And the questions are not directly directed to the presenter, but to all of us so that we can respond and share ideas. Because gender-based violence and femicide is a societal problem. So I'll allow colleagues who are here to make some inputs, comments, or ask questions. I'll also on the other side look for the questions that are and comments that are on Facebook and bring them to the group. Colleagues, now it's time for, for those who want to make some inputs to raise up their hands and, and make some inputs. That's, that's, that's time now. Any inputs, comments from those who are participating? While I'm looking for some comments on Facebook, I don't see any hand here for now. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, hello Chaperson. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, I am unable to raise my hand. So in my you're most welcome. Yes. Okay. My, my name is Vyogas Jani. I am an official in the in the National House of uh, Traditional Leaders in the office of uh, Ngoskaz and Uh I appreciate uh, the presentation, but I felt that I need to add uh, that uh, the National House is a statutory body that works more with stakeholders and, um, and, and part partners in order to achieve um, the, 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 the implementation of its mandate and, and work in, in its uh, programs. Therefore, um, we would like to invite more partners to approach the National House of Traditional Leaders to work uh, with us in, in, in order to, 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 to do more work in gender-based uh, violence and uh, I mean to work against uh, gender-based violence and to deal with femicides in our um, communities. So, um, and also the provincial houses of uh, traditional leaders also can be approached and also traditional councils. So basically it's just an invitation to organizations and, 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 and businesses who are interested to participate in this fight against uh, gender-based violence and femicides to partner with traditional leadership. Because when we work together, we can achieve more and we can uh, 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 defeat uh, this uh, pandemic. That is basically what I wanted to, to say, to invite um, partnership in, the, in this fight. Thanks, thanks, Chairperson. Thank you so much, Vyogasi. Uh, Thank you so much. I, I will I will request that if it's possible uh, from your side the gadget that you are using, go to the chat box and leave your contact details so that those who are willing to work closely with the House of Traditional Leaders can contact the your office. I have already received a message from Diana Flood who says I would love to work with you, with you all. This is the first time I'm tuning in into this program. So uh, let's leave our contact details there so that those who want to work together, then can, they can contact each other after this program. Thank you so much. Any other inputs, uh, comments from, from colleagues, feel free to raise any questions or inputs. From, from the Facebook, um, I think it's a it's a it's a more of a comment or a, I don't want to say a question because they're saying Unkosika has spoke about reviewing of um, some cultural practices that infringes on on human rights like Shubegisa, Shatswadi Rope, Okutwala. The question is how far is the process and how long is it going to take to review these practices. How far is this process? And how far is it going to take to review all these practices? And I'm sure this comment comes from a position of, sometimes we, we make resolution and we take long to implement those resolutions. So maybe Nkosikasi can assist and say, how far is this process? And, um, and how long is it going to take to, to review this, uh, this uh, cultural practices that are, are infringing on, on, on human rights, particularly for, 
human rights of women and, and children. Blungisi and Twanisi, your hand is up. Uh, you can come in, my, my brother. Before, 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 Oh, sorry, my sincere apologies. I'm because I'm just reading on on the name here. My my sincere apologies. Um, I don't have a car or a kettle or even a, a boat to pay. Yeah, my sincere apologies, Ngosi. Um, I will assist you in in unmuting you from this side. I'm struggling in unmuting you from my side. Can you unmute yourself from that side? All right, okay. I've done that. Yes. I, I was saying that I'm responding on behalf of Nkoska uh, Zemshaul. I'm also a member of the National House. Uh, I'm Thank responding you. to the question that was raised, I think, on the Facebook. Yes. It, 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 it is not in an event, but a process. OK. So whoever wants to know where, when is this process starting and when is it finishing, our understanding is that the whole thing is the process. It is not an event. Thank you. Yes. OK. Th thank you so much, Nkosi. And I'm sure my apology has been accepted. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah. Um, um, and I'm sure when this process starts, uh, the members of the public will be given an opportunity to make some, some, some comments through the public participation process on, on, on these cultural practices. And I'm sure uh, those who want to participate will be given that opportunity. Uh, Princess Cabo, your hand is up. Um, thank you very much, uh, Princess Cabo Morocco, also a member of the National House of Traditional Leaders. And I just would like to also add to the fact that um, we may not be mentioning um, how the National House of Traditional Leaders is actually under resourced. And this is one of the other factors that contribute in us not um, doing or doing our work as fast as we'd like to, to do it. Um, so as Kotun Gonisi rightly says, it is work in process, but uh, in progress, uh, pardon, but through partnerships, I believe, and, and all other resources that we can sort of lobby in, we, we can make the strides that we would want to see. So uh, I think we, we should also just take that into public. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Princess. The issue that has been raised here is about the House of Traditional Leaders being under-resourced to carry out on its own mandate. So those who, who are within various sectors, business and even government, uh, this is an opportunity for you to, to put our minds where our mouths are. Let's put our resources together to ensure that the House of Traditional Leaders is well resourced for it to carry out on its mandate. Any other comments, inputs from colleagues who are in the webinar? Can I What's just Kasi? add, can I just yes, add on, on, on that response? Also appreciating my colleagues when they come to my rescue and assist me. Thank you very much, uh, host, uh, um, Hoshi Nzangwisi uh, and uh, Princess Khabu. Uh, uh, also, facilitator, you must bear in mind that when you are talking about culture or cultural practices, it doesn't belong to Amakos. It belongs to the community. Mm -hmm. So you can't just wake up in the morning saying that I'm taking, I'm take, I'm throwing away this culture or this cultural practice. As you have just as said, we will have to go and consult. We have seen that we have been, uh, we have talked about other cultural practices opposite, uh, for instance, stating and doyo kusolo kamando mazana. Kutu aipeli si waiko. But we have seen what abant by by a practice, and you'll see abant with aba uh, amalungu parliament, amakose being part of that because it's part of their culture, and you you, you can't say uh, you just throw it away. And also, this house 
the, 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 the main mandate of this house is the preservation of culture and customs. If we just always bow to, uh, to whoever who's wishing that this culture must be just thrown away, it will hit back to us. The communities of South Africa will be saying, my cause is we are the only institution we have given you the mandate of preserving our cultures. Why do we allow our cultures to go away, to be thrown away? So we, we, we are in that uh, 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 challenge as, uh, as Umukos. And and I appreciate the and I, I, I appreciate the question from the, the participant because she is I'm sure he or she is interested really to know as we are talking about this especially those harmful harmful ones and issues of patriarchy are always raised and this patriarchy is always linked with umukosi and also religious sector but. This be also is it belongs to the communities. So it's, it's going to be a process, but we'll try by all means to push it with our communities, showing them how, uh, how, how uh, we need to, to, it to be done as, as quickly as possible. Thank you very much, uh, Facilitate. Thank you so much, uh, the, the other question, it says, so what is the relationship between the House of Traditional Leaders and the CRRL Commission, the Commission for Cultural, Religious, and Linguistic Communities? How, what, what is the relationship? Is there any relationship there? Are they working together? Because the, 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 the Commission for Cultural, Religious, and Linguistic Communities is one of the chapter nine institution, <clears throat> excuse me, focusing on ensuring that persons belonging to a cultural, religious and linguistic community might not be denied their right. What is the relationship between the traditional, House of Traditional Leaders and that commission, uh, the, the commission that we're getting from, from, the, from the Facebook? For those who, who, who are willing to work closely with the House of Traditional Leaders, Please leave your contact also on the chat for Uvuyokasi to contact you. Vyokasi has left a contact in the chat. Please also leave your contact on the chat. For those who are in Facebook, you can also uh, inbox me your contacts. I'll share those contacts with Vyokasi. Can we go back to this uh, question of saying, what is the relationship between the House of Traditional Leaders and the Commission for Religious, Linguistic, and Cultural uh, Practices? Hello, Chair. Uh, 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 I'm not sure whether you will start by giving Hosin Zamisi an opportunity to speak because I see his hand and then and then give me. Can I can I give you that space to yes to give uh, Hosin Zamisi? But I think that's is that an old hand, Hosin Zamisi? Or yes, you want I'll to just, I'll comment? just removed it is an old hand, sorry. Uh, okay, Hosin Zamisi. Yes. You can come in, Vyokasi. Okay. Um, uh, th thanks, Chair. Um, I will. I will try to to answer the questions. The, the question on the difference between the National House of Traditional Leaders and the CRL Rights Commission. Um, as you have stated, the CRL Rights Commission is a Chapter Nine institution, in, in established in terms of its own act. And it focuses mainly, as it is stated in its long name, that it focuses on the promotion and preservation of cultural, religious, and linguistic rights in communities. That, that is its, its main focus. That is what uh, its work is focused at. The National House of Traditional Leaders, on the other hand, is a statutory body it is provided for as well in the constitution for, for its establishment. And it is established in, in, in terms of the National House of Traditional Leaders Act. And uh, it, it also has its, uh, its, its mandate, which, which is to, to advise government amongst, amongst many other functions of the National House of Traditional Leaders. It, 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 it advises government on matters that affect traditional communities at large beyond the issues of culture, 
um, religious rights and 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 linguistic um, uh, rights. The main purpose of that act, and also which 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 gives the mandate of the uh, national house, is 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 to establish uh, the house in order to 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 bring together traditional leaders. So it is a voice that speaks to government on behalf of a uh, traditional leaders as as a statutory board, as we are aware that. At, at, at local level, we have traditional communities. At district level, we have um, local houses of traditional leaders. At provincial level, we have provincial houses of traditional leaders. Then at national level, we have the National House of Traditional Leaders, which is a statutory body that speaks to, 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 to government on behalf of the institution. So when, the, when parliament has an act that that affects the traditional communities it is referred to the national house and the national house mobilizes views and comments from um uh, from, from provincial houses of of traditional leaders who get their their voice from um from 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 uh, the local levels from the structures in local levels and make that submission to 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 parliament to the national parliament Provincial houses as well do the same with um, with 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 provincial uh, legislatures. So that is the difference between the National House of Traditional Leaders, which focuses on traditional communities and being their voice, and the CRL Rights Commission, which focuses on the cultural, religious, and linguistic rights for all communities, not only uh, traditional uh, leadership uh, matters. Thanks. Thank you so much for, for, for that explanation. Um, uh, also, 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 yes, thank you, Vuyo. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks Vuyo. Uh, and we are working together with the commission. As you can see that our work is, is linked. They also advise us as traditional leaders on issues that we, we need to look at which are, must not affect the communities. And, 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 and as we, I, I've already mentioned that, as, as much as we are uh, 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 preservers of culture and customs, section 20 of our act provides for all departments to work with us and other stakeholders. The reason I'm raising this one, I've seen some of the of the comments coming from uh, other partners who may want to, to work with us developmentally as we have talked about issues of, of, of economy. So we section 20 allows us to work with those partners uh, for, 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 for economic development and other, other, other developmental areas. So that commission, we keep on a meeting with them and, and, and share the views when the when there is an issue that is affecting communities. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, facilitator. Thank you so much, Ngozi Tauli. Uh, Any other comments from colleagues uh, in, the, in the in the webinar? While I'm checking on Facebook, if there are some some comments there. Any other comments? Colleagues, in the absence of comments, I can see. There is much interest in the work that uh, the House of Traditional Leaders is doing. People have shared their contacts in the chat. Even in our, our midst, we've got people in the USA who are part of this discussion, and they have left their contacts there to say they are in the USA, North Carolina, and they can be contacted so that we can uh, work, work with the House of Traditional Leaders. Thank you so much, colleagues, for participation. Thank you so much, Ngozi Ntaoli, for your presentation. And Amanya Makosi and the princesses and the queens. From the Progressive Social Economic Investment Institute, we appreciate your participation in this webinar. We'll continue organizing different types of webinars uh, to raise, to discuss about various uh, topics. We'll appreciate also for those who want to to get our YouTube presentation. We have left in our YouTube uh, channel contact details in the chat. You can go and view all our webinars in that YouTube channel. We'll continue to have the webinars. 
our intention is to conscientize the communities, to raise awareness on key issues, bring in various stakeholders to come and have a conversation because we can only build a society through conversation. South Africa is a product of conversation. There was a dialogue where then we had South Africa. So we believe in organizing dialogues whereby we can find solutions. Thank you so much colleagues for your participation. And with all those words, I want to wish you a lovely weekend and a very safe one. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you to you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks, Sidiko. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Sidiko.